You guys asked for it. You've been telling me to stop with all the other crap and get back on the cars and the cool stuff. But before I get that, I want to say thank you for the subscriptions. We're picking up more views, or more people, more views. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. Like I said, that helps YouTube find us, but YouTube is liking the, uh, what's going on right now with the, with the subscriptions and the actual views. So, great job. Need y'all to share this because we're finally getting back in to what I like to do. So, as you can see, I got a table full of parts here. I finally got everything that I think I need to get the Sonoma on the ground and rolling. And I'm gonna explain to you what we got here and what you can expect to see in the upcoming videos. All right, so we've got our coal springs because we are going to convert this uh, 91 Sonoma to coal spring front end with a Dana 30. And couldn't I could have put the Dana 30 on the table, but I didn't, but it's behind the camera. So I got four inch lift coils for a 94 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And then I have, this is what I was waiting on. These are actual Ford Ranger upper spring mounts for the coil spring for the frame. And I think this is, well anyway, when I mount this, this will be passenger side because of the shock and the Dana 30. So I'm hoping this is what's gonna make the conversion a little easier. We'll get to see that in the in the video. And then I got this from Ballistic Fab. And what this is, is adjustable. You weld this on the frame and you're able to slide these up and down and adjust your coil mount, which is this plate. We'll go in here and it makes your coil buckets. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use. I want to use the Ford Ranger ones. That's what I'm, I'm wanting to use these. They actually came with uh, Grade A hardware to bolt them on, but with the, the front frame on the 91, it's boxed, so I won't be able to get a nut in there. So I don't know if, if I'll be able to cut a hole with plate, put a nut in there, weld a nut. On there and make my own capsulated nuts within the frame or I drill out I drill these out make them big enough and just plug weld this to the frame I got a drop pitman arm for the steering the I won't share part numbers because these ain't proven parts I don't want people to order parts uh, and then get them and they don't work uh, as they go on and they work, I'll put the part number in a description of that video once I find out that they prove that they work. So I got hardware for shock extensions and conversions. I do believe what these are for is to convert it to through bolt shocks instead of having the bars that go down on the bottom. Got factory bushings for the upper links. I got adjustable upper links that are going to tie into the bottom links. I've got what is actually the most universal bushing setup. These can be used for motor mounts, suspension mounts, body mounts, and what is cool about them, and I'll tell you where they come from, this is the lower Dana 30 caster bolt. That's what you do to adjust your caster. And I got brand new ones. And when it's lucky, they actually fit the bushing. Now this bushing, like I said, it's probably your thing. It's kind of stuck. I need to... I put it together and I didn't leave it. There it goes. And it's been together for quite a while. So you got your sleeve and it, obviously you got your polyurethane bushing. These are Chevrolet two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive leaf spring bushings. 
Now I'll put the part number for these in the, in the description of the video because, like I said, I've used these for motor mounts. I've used these for, well, we're about to use them for the lower link front bushings on a Dana 30. Now, the reason I use these is because they come in a pack of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. And they're fairly cheap for the eight. Now you can go on most of your four wheel drive websites and you can order these individually with already the sleeve. And um, I have the pipe over there that we're going to end up cutting the sleeve. But also what I got to do is end up, they have to be narrowed so they'll fit into the Dana 30, which is no big deal. You cut the, cut the sleeve, the, uh, the bushing spacer, and then you take these and you cut these, which all you gotta do is just run them through the bandsaw right after you run this through and cut it on the bandsaw. These save you a lot of money for the fact that you get so many in a box and you could use them for about anything that requires a bushing and an isolator. I actually used one of these on the, the the 57 International for the front engine mount because on the, the motor we put in it, it's got a cradle in the front right underneath the timing chain set a single mount and that's what this was mounted to the frame and then it's got mounts that come off the transmission. There's no side mounts which makes it cool when you're trying to run exhaust. These I'll talk more about them when I actually start making the links. We got a Dr. Oz diff cover you can get off of eBay. They're like Less than 100 bucks or around 100 bucks. It's uh, you have to weld it together. So uh, finish welding it. It's already it's tack welded together, but you finish welding it. And this is for the Dana 30. We already did one for the Dana or for the 8.8 that's in the rear. I don't know if that's in the other videos or not. So what's in this box? I'm not going to pull it out because uh, it's just got a bunch of parts in it. But this is a slip slip yoke eliminator for the transfer case. So we're gonna be pulling, once we get it on the ground and we're able to set it and crawl under it and shake it more than what it's on jack stands, uh, we're gonna pull the transfer case out and put the slip, slip yoke eliminator in it. And uh, should do pretty good at that point. Uh, so that is the update. Your, our next video that you see should be me trying to center the axle and everything. I got a way I'm gonna center and level and make reference marks for the chassis to make sure that the truck stays level and you always have marks to measure or reference points to measure from. Hopefully I got enough to get me going for a month to get this truck. I've gotta get this truck rolling and get it out of my garage. It's, it's taking up a lot of space and I've got another project that I want to get in here for myself. This is my son's build. It's going to be his first truck when he gets his license. And we're trying to get it out and get it rolling so he can start driving it once he gets his license. He ain't got his license yet. And then this will be in and out of the shop getting painted and other things as we get to it. Our goal is to run it on 35s. It's about as big as I want to go with the Dana 30 is 35s. And he seems pretty excited about it. He's in school right now, so I don't know how much video you'll see. He'll be in and out when he, after school. If he ain't got no homework, he'll be out here helping me. But I plan on just knocking this thing out and getting it out of the garage. But, you know, it's time for me to get videos out to you guys and hopefully get my YouTube channel growing. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and come back and watch. This is. Like I said, this is going to be my future builds far as what you're going to see and I'm going to be trying to knock it out. After the time this video is done and the time it's uploaded, I will have the, the 316 plate and probably have the frame grounded. I'll uh, take the grinder and grind all the old cut where we plasma cut the front end out of it. And hopefully you'll be seeing that video coming up soon. I'm trying to get a video maybe two videos a week on this because that's how fast I want to get it out of here I'm back video and 
doing all the edits myself, so it's kind of slow. If the video edits, comment below on what I could do to make my videos better because it's all on me now and I'm learning how to do the software and the last couple videos I've been trying to edit the software crashes and I lose it and I get frustrated but I am going to be super dedicated as you can tell in the videos my garage I'm actually standing on the floor and not stepping over things the garage is clean er <laughs> It still needs a lot of work, a lot of organizing. If you could see behind the camera, you, you would still, you'd understand why. So like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and please comment down below on parts. If you've done similar to this on parts and whether you think the parts that I have are going to work and why, if you do think, or if you don't think they're going to work, please let me know. Thank you.